Hey guys, uh, a quick addendum to the previous video. This is how you can orient your locator for your knee in a perfect angle so that all of your values stay perfect and fresh and there's no snapping when you create the constraints. So for this, I've taken my joint chain and my IKs and I've just added them to a new layer and this one here so now I can turn it on and off or more importantly I can set it to reference so I can no longer select it but I can still see the joints that's because I'm going to create a fake joint chain just so that I can orient my knee locator perfectly I'll, I'll show you what I mean so I'll just check my move controls okay object is fine so let's create a joint so I've got point snapping on. If I take that off and hold down V, you'll see it does the same thing. Uh, I'm just going to keep it on because I need to snap at all times. So now when I go to create a joint, it will always try to snap to a position. So I try to click here and you see down here it's trying to snap to this joint. If I move up, it tries to snap to that. This is important. So I snap it to that guy and then snap it to that guy and click OK. Now we have two joints, the end and the main joint, the first one we made. We're just con concerned with the end. We need to orient this um, in the same axis but aligned and snapped up to this guy. So if I go into my move controls and make sure that instead of object it's now on parent so you'll see the up axis is blue here. As soon as I click parent, oh, I didn't even click it. It should change the location. Okay, it's totally not letting me do that now. Oh, okay, so it's doing what I want, but not displaying it up here. That's very strange. Okay, so despite the saying object, it's actually in parent. And you can tell that because it's now facing the same direction as its parent joint. So I still have snapping on. If I just grab the up axis, you'll see it tries to snap to this joint, but it cannot break its orientation. So it's perfectly aligned with this first joint here, but now snapped up to this guy. That's exactly what we want. So let's leave that guy alone. And now I'm going to create another joint going from the hip to this new joint and that will give us our orientation. So snap, snap, enter. That's now the direction our knee locator needs to face in. So if I snap this down to our knee, there he is there. Now I can grab our knee locator or more importantly the group of the knee locator and if I snap this guy to here, then that gives us the exact orientation for our knee. Now, what I think I'm going to do before then is make this a little bit further out. So I'm going to grab that joint. Don't need snapping on anymore. And pull him further out. And then I'm going to do that snap again. So my knee locator, uh, snap him to that joint. There we go. So we no longer need any of these joints. So I can just kill them now. No longer needed. Just this knee locator. Okay, so now if I take this joint chain off reference so I can select them. There we go. I can now have access to our IK handle. So I'm going to grab my locator first, then my IK handle. Go constrain, pull vector, and there shouldn't be any snap in this legs position. If there is, then I haven't done it right. Okay, so pull vector, no snap, perfect. So now our knee locator, oh, I still got snap on. Our knee locator will control our leg position, and it should be absolutely perfect without any issues, no weird behavior all exactly as we wanted. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Take care.